Well, it happened. I made it all of six weeks before I had to pull the pin on a new guitar. Like I told you guys, you'd be the first to know if I ever made any big purchases like this. So here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna bring the guitar in. It's still in the box. The courier just dropped it off and we're gonna experience it for the first time together. I'm sure I'll be more excited than some of you guys, but I know some of you are guitar enthusiasts as well. So maybe <laughs> there'll be a little bit of reciprocated joy there. But yeah, we'll see what our first impressions are. And then after that, we'll see how it sounds. I'm gonna get the box now because it's been killing me having to film this instead of just ripping it open when it first arrived. <laughs> Super. Let's just... All right. Okay, now that that's happened, let's start opening this thing. Also want to give a shout out to Anderton's shop in the UK. They have a massive YouTube channel. If you like guitar at all and you like funny British blokes, I recommend you check their channel out as well. There's a box in this box. I'm kidding. <laughs> Probably doesn't mean much, but a little peace of mind. It's been uh, quality control checked. That was useless. It's been quality control checked. I'm not gonna use this clean. Don't tell me there's another box in this box. There kind of sort of is. Ah, uh, okay. Let's change up the, uh, let's change up the shot. Describe to you how light this thing is. I've heard that thin line telecasters are meant to be light, but this thing's next level. Whew. You can definitely tell she's been set up a little bit because there is just stuff all over this thing. It has a very lacquered neck. Guys, this thing is very pretty. Oh, that's all right, I had a quick look over her when I stopped recording and other than a few little finish flaws So like, you know aesthetic flaws. Well what you pay for this thing Not too hard to switch between those Travel on the pots is fine. It's whatever how much you're riding these things personally. I only really really ride the volume knob tone Depending on how harsh the neck or the bridge pickup is. I don't really mind. I love the tint on the neck, it's very vintage. I'm probably gonna sand the neck down, but that's a, I'll, I'll get to that. I just can't get over how light it is. So thin line tellies are ones that have a hole in them. So they're not one giant piece of wood. There's actually like a hollowed out section. So it makes them a lot lighter. Let's see if it sound, if it's in tune, right out of the box. Look, that's not the prettiest sounding guitar, but it's like 85% in tune. That's, that's pretty good. I like how it looks. There's one thing that's bugging me around the F hole, which is what this thing's called, in case you think I'm just being rude. There's like some scuffs around the edge, which are a little bit of a bummer. So it's not like all black, like some of the paint's rubbed off and it, you can see what the color, the wood color is underneath. But other than that, again, for what you're paying for, this is a great looking guitar at the very least. And the neck feels nice. Like the edges are fine. Like they're not too sharp or anything, which is pretty standard for a budget guitar. The idea with this guitar is that over the course of this year, I'm actually gonna modify it slowly. So I'm gonna upgrade certain elements of it. This is a Squire guitar which is kind of like the budget version of Fender. And the idea was I'll get a cheap one of these and upgrade it to sound like a guitar that sounds two, three, four times the price rather than buying like a two and a half, three thousand dollar guitar. Because even with the modifications, this would come in a lot cheaper than that. So it's a bit of a cost saving thing. Plus it's just fun to have a project guitar. I had that with my Made in Japan Strat, which I actually have sold. Fun fact, I've sold a bunch of guitars since the end of last year. But yeah, this neck is really thin as well. I'm kind of shocked at how thin this is. How much I like this neck is also one of those things that I'm open to changing out in the future. 
Cool. We'll jump to Future Paul now playing some sounds and then I'll wrap things up. 